Hey everybody, welcome back to some more... I'm looking at the wrong camera. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Bannerlord. We got a new camera today, but the frame rate seems to be a bit low, and the sync might be slightly off. I don't know. It's an experiment. We're trying a, a DSLR camera for this, but it's not actually the best kind of DSLR camera for this. It's just one I had laying around. I was trying to see, eh, could I get this working with streaming? And the answer is... Kinda. It's a Canon M50. It's not the best for webcam type stuff just because it doesn't have clean HDMI out. And so you've got to use, uh, to turn off the auto shut off because you can turn off the auto shut off in the camera, but it doesn't really work when you do that. It's stupid. You can artificially turn it off with Sparko Cam, but then Sparko Cam doesn't like it very much. It's very complicated. All you need to know is this isn't the best camera for it in the world. So we're experimenting with this. Let me know in the chat and in the comment section on YouTube if this is... Uh, if you want me to keep using this camera, or if you want me to go back to the webcam, what you think looks better, what frame rate you think looks better, stuff like that. I know, it's it's pretty small anyway. Anyway, it's a hot and muggy day. We are trying to build up our little, uh, force of horse cavalry. Horse cavalry, that's redundant. Horse archers, cavalry archers, whatever you want to call that. And then, uh, we're gonna make our mercenary force. Let's refresh ourselves on our team here. I know my camera pretty much covers it, so I'm gonna just let you know what we have. We've got three tribal warriors, which are tier twos. They are horse archers. And uh, then we have two nomads who are wounded right now. Um, I could just go take out these looters. I, I need the levels. That's what we're doing right now, everybody. Okay, there's a hideout up there. Now, did this other group join in? It did. So we're against, it's 18 on five. And we're hurt. How much would it cost to pay my way out of this? Hmm. 331? It is a lot of them. Fuck it, I'm fighting them. Alright, we're fighting them, everybody. Let's do this. This is going to be a little hairy. This is going to be the one of the harder fights we've done, but it's still just looters. They're weak. Charge! Okay, I'm going to tell the horse archers to just keep moving. All oh, right, I forgot to get rid of this spear I didn't like. Uh, I got a headshot with that. Oh, did you see that? That's beautiful. I do need to really keep moving because their rocks are going to be more dangerous than usual. So what I'm doing right now, I'm circling them at a really high speed just to get them to use up some of their throwing weapons. I hit someone there. Got my shield up and everything. Nice, right? Oh, that was a good headshot. Whoa. Fuck. I've only got so many arrows here, and it's not easy to find an opportunity to pick them back up. Nice. Got a little pull arm skill too. Closer to level ups. I gotta get used to looking at that camera. It's a little higher up than usual. Fuck. Oh, that was the face. Oh, whoa. My horse really sounded distressed there from that one. There we go. That's beautiful. I hope some of my guys get kills, too. I don't want all the experience. There. We got some of them down. This is good. I think a looter knocked out one of our guys, though. Yeah, we're down a few people. I just saw another one go down. I think we're down to two guys. Yep. Just the two of us left, but there's a lot of them down. Oh, he's going with his sword. That's risky. He was, he's got to be out of arrows. That's the last guy throwing. Fuck. 
Five arrows left. You hear the dick is the weak spot? Ah, oh, fuck. He lost his horse. He's down. Yep. That's the last arrow. Oof. There we go. Is he running? He's running. Oh, he's not living after that shit. They tried to take us all out. Not happening. Frost Spirit, he, he did get knocked out. They don't die, don't worry. Companions don't die, they can only be knocked out. But it doesn't mean he'll need time to recover. Two points in riding, four points in archery, one point in polearm. Yeah, we don't really have anything to help us with polearm skill. Gut Rig Frostbeard. God, that is an unfortunate aim. We got almost 300 bucks off looting them. Some meat. A lot of food, actually. And there's a hideout up there. I wouldn't mind beating up at some point. But Step Bandits, those are dangerous. I gotta get back to this town to recover. Yeah, those bandits couldn't win 18 on 5, but in fairness, we were better equipped than them. How many of my people died there? None! We had no deaths, I think. In fact, one of our guys can upgrade again. Uh, a raider is the next upgrade for staying with archery rather than going melee. Okay. We've got a tier 3 then. Look at that. Level level 16, these guys, which is officially a higher level than Gutrag. You like the name Gutrag? It's uh, a hell of a name. Are companion names randomly generated? I believe so. If I remember right. Alright, let's sell a little. Now we still need to make a profit of 1,500 or more off the oil to actually make a profit. So, that's just not happening yet. Make a little money off their clothing. All right, let's melt some stuff down. We'll have him do it. Some of the not so good weapons that we don't need. Tall plated grip unlocked, nice. Yeah, that means uh, blue exclamation, exclamation part point. I said every word in the sentence wrong either than blue. <laughs> It's, uh, it means that we have a, a, a quest we can do there, basically. There we go, got a little more charcoal. Okay. Rod iron into iron, hell yeah. Got some points in smithing. And getting some more good resources. We actually have a piece of steel at this point. That's pretty nice. You should check your age. You can't get married after 30. Oh, shit. Didn't know that. I know someone said it's hard to get married if you're old. How do we check our age? Age 30. <laughs> Hope that doesn't matter. I mean, we've only... We started at age 30, though. There's no way that... Uh, there, there's no way that you can't get married after age 30. Because we're only, th we're like a month into the game. If I check the date, uh, if I save... Oh, raise the load screen, right? That shows it? Yeah. Yeah, we're 43 days into the game. There's absolutely no way that the information is correct. That you can't have a kid after 30, or you can't get married after 30. Considering we started the game at 30 years old. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's wait here for the night because we need to heal. A lot of our people are really hurt. I gained a point in medicine because we don't have a real medic. Yeah, we do need to get a healer soon. That might be our top priority. You know what? In the morning, we'll start moving our way to where the healer we want is. We have the money. Should I get this game? Hell yeah, you should. Sorry, 35. Gotcha. Okay, 35, that's not happening anytime soon. This game is all real time, you know? Like, when I sleep there... It is one day going by. 
Okay. No tournament in town. Bummer. But what are you going to do? I remember reading a comment the other day that I thought was really heartwarming. I think it was from Conk Donk, I think. Who I think is actually in the chat today. I always forget because he's here so often that I forget if he's here or not. Uh, I think it was someone who was a longtime viewer, probably Conk Donk, who said, like, on episode three of the series that this is possibly the favorite video of theirs that I ever did just because I seem so genuinely happy. And yeah, I fucking love this. I've been waiting for this for so long. Bannerlord is fucking fun. <laughs> I love this. I'm having a great time. Even when I like lose battles and get kidnapped, I don't care. I'm having a blast. It's fun. Check the quest. I should check the quest more often. That's correct. Yeah, I could always adopt a kid too. Uh, I, there's so many game mechanics I haven't even gotten into yet, like adopting and getting married and stuff. One year's 120 days in this game? I didn't know that, actually. That's that's good info. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, uh, needs help with step bandits. I don't know if I can do that for you yet. I should be doing quests more, though. Escort a caravan, a merchant caravan is easy, but there's no, like, easy escort ability. You need to actually click around them, and it's really annoying. Fencing stolen goods will get me in trouble with the law. And this guy is here. Cruel, daring, and honest. One hell of a warrior, though. I don't like that he's cruel. If he was daring, honest, and not cruel, I would hire this guy because he looks like one hell of a foot soldier. Throwing one-handed in athletics, this guy could be a foot tank. And I'd love him to just walk around with me in town as a bodyguard. But, um... And he's a Batanian, so he'd... You know, they're solid warriors. That's a talented guy. I'd love to hire him, but he's cruel. Escort caravans worth so much money, though. You're winning me over, Nick, when you're saying it's worth a lot of money. Oh, hey, Conk Donk's here. Thanks, Conk Donk. I, I really liked that message. That honestly made my day, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go talk to this wool weaver. We'll help escort her caravan. We can ward off some, some bandits. We have a little bit of a force, you know? Why does being cruel matter? Because it changes what your companions think of the actions you do. I'm trying to be a hero here. I'm not a bandit. I'm going to be merciful to people and everything. And he's going to get on my bad side if he's cruel, you know? If our morals don't align, he's not going to stick with us forever. I want a companion who's loyal. And that means we have to have moral values that are fairly similar, you know? Uh, I'll be polite. My name is Hernandez, madame. I may ask your name. She owns a wool weavery. Okay, so this is just a local merchant. Or a local artisan. Yeah, speaking of merchants, I appreciate the efforts. I hope she's not sending something east. Yeah, brigands. Because if she's sending it east, there's going to be step bandits. Those are hard to ward off. They're on horses. Horses are scary when it comes to bandits. Being mobile is very powerful. Send it a caravan, but I fear it'll be plundered. Yeah. For that price, I'll escort it myself. She's not even telling me the price. Alright, I'll do it. Alright, we're taking a quest. Been watching you play Fable. Oh, that was so long ago. You agree with me on Killing Whisper. Thank you. <laughs> That's become such a meme over the years of Kill Whipser, which is one of the funniest typos I've ever seen. Okay, no one here is ready for promotion? No, but everyone's healthy enough to fight either than one nomad, so it'll do. We also need to keep an eye out for cheap horses, by the way. Mostly villagers giving us cheap horses. So here's the caravan. We'll talk to them. I wish we could tell them, hey, just like follow me, you know? Like, follow me as an army rather than me having to follow you. All right, well, we just got to follow him then. If I right-click him, there's no option to escort like there was in the first game, which is really annoying. If anybody knows of a way that I could, uh, alt for more info? No. Okay. If anybody knows of a way that I can follow their caravan without, like, selecting them, I'd love to know it. Because if I go into this menu and parties, they don't count as a caravan for me, you know? This is a menu I want to use a lot more, by the way, because this looks like it'd be really fun once I get more companions. 
I just kind of need to follow this army. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to fight those looters. Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to get too far from mine. I just press the same town they're going to. Yeah, but what if your speed is wildly different, like ours is? Like, here we go. Their speed is 4.7, mine is 6.6. .6. I'd run ahead of them, and then they'd get got, you know? So where is he traveling to? Right here? Or is he just stopping off? Because I think he's got a few trips he has to do, right? Oh, villagers. I want to see if they're selling horses. Out east? Horses are a big business, aren't they? Selling some stumpers. You know what? That's dirt cheap. Stumpers can't be used for military, but they can ca carry cargo. At that price, I'll take it. I like that we're out east and the music is getting just a little bit more Asian steps, you know? It's nice. Tournament in town. Let's do it. No good way to do it at this stage. That's a shame. Wow, that guy looks badass. We get an Eastern helmet out of this. I think it's about as good as our helmet, tier four, but we could always just give it to a companion if we don't need it. I'm with a militia archer against a spear infantry and a horse archer. This is weighted against me. I'm not on horseback either, and I don't have the bow, okay. Get. Would my partner stop getting in my way there? Oh, did my guy go down? Yeah. Easy. You full at this battle? Uh, no, I've got fairly close to full. I want to watch this guy in action. There's, uh, Ulmen? He must be some kind of local lord. Oh, wow, look at the speed this dude is running at. In that kind of armor? This guy's athletic skill must be crazy. Would you look at his dodge speed, too? He's good. He's faking him out. What's he doing? That was weird. Oh, I don't want to fight this guy. Yeah, could you imagine what his athletics must be to move that fast in, you know, it's not the heaviest armor in the world, but it's good armor. All right, well, I'm against a militia archer. I think it's the one I used to team with, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I think he almost killed himself there. Well, he's dead. Thanks for the pull arm skill, buddy. Die, horse! <laughs> All right. Oh, I was almost against Frostbeard. I'm against a marksman. Could be bad. Oh, God. If I go to the finals, I'm against that Ulman. Okay. I'm against a marksman, and he doesn't have a bow. I'm feeling okay. It's two marksmen without bows against each other. Come on. Come on. Trying to really pick my spots here. Neither of us are hitting very hard. Whoa! He got around my shield there. That, 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 that's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> Non-lethal tournament. <laughs> All right, we can do this. We can do this. All right. This is gonna fucking suck, isn't it? Where is he? There. Oh god, it's a foot fight. I don't like this. I was hoping I'd be on a horse at least. If it was horse and bow, I'd feel good. All right, we're really putting my uh, combat skill to the test because my stats are a thousand times lower than his. I gotta outsmart him. Ah, oh, he's so fast. I'm barely hurting him. He doesn't even recoil sometimes when I hit him. I'm hitting for like sevens with my spear. Come on. I gotta really aim this fucking thing, because there's no sweeping with it, you know? It's- you can't swing a spear. I'm trying to take a lot of cheap shots at his uh, shield here and there, to try and break it. Because if I break his shield- oh! I shouldn't have dropped my guard there, damn. Made it to the finals and everything. 
<laughs> no fair, they have a demigod as their champion. Yeah, I know, right? That dude is a badass. I wanna... Who is this guy? He's a noble. He's a noble of their army. Okay. He's known for being brave and headstrong. He looks like a badass. Look at that tactic skill. Whoa! <laughs> He's got 240 polearm, two-handed, and one-handed skill? Holy shit! Isn't that, like, maxed out? Hold on, let me see. How high does that go? He's nearly maxed out. 